I don't know anybody who isn't frustrated by passwords. Matter of fact, I've heard people use a lot stronger language than frustrated. But all of that is about to change. I've got the good news on Steve's Tech Talk. Passwords have been around since ancient times when you needed one to get past the guards. And they were required to log into the very first computers. Most of us would agree that the current state of password security is pathetic. Almost daily, we hear about a new breach that compromises millions of passwords. Yet, most of us have come to accept them as a necessary evil. We're told that ideally, we should have a unique password for everything that we sign into. And it ought to be a long string of random, unmemorable junk characters. I use a password manager and I have over 2,000 passwords. But I have to confess, not all of them are unique. The good news is progress is being made to completely replace that password field with something new called PassKeys. It's a joint initiative supported by Google, Microsoft, and Apple. It's called the FIDO Alliance. A passkey has two points of security. One is stored on the website or the application. The other is stored on your smart device, like a phone, or your computer, or even your watch. Explaining how it all works is a little complicated, but let me show you how easy it is to set up. I'm using the demo site passkeys.io for this demonstration. On my MacBook Pro, I provided my email and then created an account. I'm asked if I want to set up a passkey. On this computer, I have a fingerprint reader, so that's what I'm using. To sign in, I don't need a password. I just use my fingerprint. For this demonstration, on my iPhone, I create another account using a different email address. With it, to sign on, all I need is facial recognition. It'll work with any biometric, like the fingerprint or facial recognition. It could also work with a pen or even a pattern. And because Apple, Google, and Microsoft all support this, it'll work across all those platforms. Here, I'm using Google Chrome, and when I try to sign in to passkeys.io, it creates a QR code that I scan with my phone. But the QR code only works on my phone. Here, I'm trying to sign in with my wife's phone. No luck! But don't expect passwords to disappear overnight. Creating a passkey is only supported by a few sites like Best Buys. I remember back in 2014 getting excited when Apple introduced pay with your phone. But it took years for businesses to embrace it and upgrade their technology. Now it's almost everywhere. So be patient. As the saying goes, all things are difficult before they're easy. For Great Day TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.